did the power outlets on your 2010 to 2013 Master 3 stop working? The one outlet by the gear shift and the one in the center console. But don't worry, the problem is very likely just a bad fuse and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Open the driver's side door. Now right where the driver's left foot would go, right over there, that's the primary hood release lever. So pull that. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the emblem over there. Right there. That's where the secondary hood release lever is. Let's see how it works. You put one finger in there and then push it right. So lift up the hood, put one finger in there, push it right, and the hood opens up. All right, now this one requires a prop rod. So we gotta get the prop rod in that slot over there. So get the prop rod out, put the rod in the slot over there, and then pull the rod back a little bit to secure it in place. Yep, just like that. Now it's good. Now once the hood is open right there behind the battery, that's the fuse box over there. Yep. In order to get it off, press one clip in the back. So press that and then lift up the cover. Now there's a hinge that keeps that cover in place. So you're going to have to wiggle that cover a little bit, lift it and wiggle it and it'll come right out. It's going to take a few seconds so just be patient with it. Yep, just like that. Now once the cover is off, if you look underneath it, that's where the fuse puller is. And that's where all the spare fuses are as well. So get that fuse puller, the white fuse puller out. Now open the driver's side door, that's the panel right there for the secondary fuse box over there. You can get a pry tool or you can just use your car key to pry that cover out, right? It's going to take a few seconds to so just be patient with it, right? Pry it out and then pull the cover off and that's going to reveal the secondary fuse panel over there. Now right behind it, that's all the fuse diagram is. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the fuse diagram. There's one that says outlet, 15 amps, and there's another one that says cigar, 15 amps. So outlet, that's the one over there, right? 15 amps, two empty, and now we'll look for the cigar one over there, second row from the top, and then 15, 15, 15, 10, okay. Up there. So this is two 15 amp fuses. Okay, first off, we'll start with taking off the power outlet fuse. That's the one in the center console. Take the fuse out, charge stops working. If the fuse looks like the one in the picture over on the top right corner, like the middle part is broken, then it's a bad fuse. In that case, get the spare fuse from the main fuse box cover and the power outlet should be back on. Now we'll repeat the same process for the cigar fuse, which is the outlet that's by the gear shifter. With the moment you take it out, again, it's gonna stop working. Check the fuse if it's a bad fuse. Then get the spare fuse and put the fuse back in. Outlets can be back on. And that's pretty much it. It's all about just identifying the fuses, taking it out, replacing it with the spare fuse. And that should fix the issue for the most part. Once you're done, don't forget to put the covers back on. And now we can close the hood. Now to close the hood, push the hood up a little bit. Take the rod out of the slot. Put it back in its place. Lower the hood and slam it shut. That's pretty much it. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.